What's going on everybody? Where you hiding? Where you hiding? Where you hiding? Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button. You know, got to be outside real quick just to uh, make a video before I get to the crib. But, oh, I appreciate everybody for commenting and liking on my last video. Giving me the moral support that I needed. Uh, not that I really needed it, but you know, you know, I want everybody to understand that yes, I get it. It is the first game. It's the part that it's it's the part about losing the slitter. Losing the slitter is never good. That's like losing the bitch again. It's like losing to the Giants or the Cowboys or the Cockroaches. <clears throat> it's a painful deal. It's a painful deal. I I consider Slitter a very friendly rival. Um, a very good friend, and. He knows how I feel, you know, whenever I lose parlay, not parlays, but bets to him. I wanted to win this one, but like 90% of the time, whenever my teams go against his, no matter what sport, even if it's the NIT, who we should have been in a 16 loss team, Slitter ends up on top 90% of the time. If it's not the playoffs, then Slit is going to win. And going back to a point that I made in a video, you know, why do I bet him in the regular season? Because I love competitiveness. Very few times I ever beat him in the regular season, but when I do, it's glorious. And most of the time, I have his number in the postseason. Except for that national championship game. If I was betting Slitter back in 2018, if I was on YouTube back then... Man, I'd be so happy after that game, you know, realizing, oh, my God, don't throw it to Tevin Coleman. Don't throw it to uh, Muhammad Sanu. Throw it to Julio in the end zone. And <sighs> he ain't catch it. When it comes down to other sports, man, we just have their number. When it comes down to the Eagles especially, we have their number. <sighs> I'm just glad the Falcons don't have a title. <sighs> That's why they'll never win a Vince Lum. <sighs> they got Georgia in basketball. Who cares about basketball? They've gotten a couple in a row in football. They got the Braves, who who were uh, three years removed from a title. I don't know, man. When when is my turn? I, I know you know it's the first game of the season and all that stuff, but you know uh, the bullpen just completely embarrassed me today. <sighs> Excuse me if uh, I'm not feeling Matt Strom after one game. Excuse me. Excuse me, but. Um, we need to trade this motherfucker. I'm not feeling him. I'm not feeling him at all. He started this. He gave up two runs in the seventh. You're like, no, no, no. After your, we're not even gonna let you finish the seventh inning. We're gonna let you get through like three or four batters, and then that's it. Because once you surrender the lead, you done. You should have been done when there was two men on base. And they were threatening to score with one out. But overall, I got to give my positives out to, uh, of course, everybody in the chat and everybody who uh, watches my video. Please share it out. But um, I want to give a shout out to Brandon Marsh, who hit that two-run jack in the fifth inning. Yes. I want to give a shout out to Zach Wheeler for keeping it scoreless for the entire time that he was in the game. It wasn't perfect. You know, he still gave up five hits through six innings, but I'll take that performance over Striders, who eventually, you know, gave up two runs in the fifth inning after he. Now, I'm not saying Strider did a terrible job, 
or even a bad job or even a par job. He did an outstanding job. He did an outstanding job in spite of that one bad inning. Well, it was a it was an okay inning. He the damage was minimal. Kept it to two runs and then they, they decided after 90 pitches he was done. So there's that. And and Noel Yaminez, I, I I'm so sick of you, bro. I'm so fucking sick of you. Thinking that the Phillies are so fucking bad, bruh. Like, oh my god, Spencer Strider was so fucking much better than, oh my god, uh, Zach Wheeler. Oh my god, um, what's his name? Your catcher was so much better than JT, who threw out two Braves. He threw out two or three Braves today. Man, fuck your catcher. JT is better. JT is better. Thou shall not pass JT. And thank you for correcting me earlier about uh, Acuna. Whoever corrected me about Acuna earlier. Maybe it was David Blurton. Uh, shout out to both of y'all, though. But um, shout out to all the Braves fans. Yeah, you know, just banding together. Like, yeah, yeah. Where he hides on his shit. Yeah, he's shit talking. Yeah. God, when is my shit talk going to pay off? I'm just saying. Noel just acts like Noel just acts like we are so much worse than the Braves and it fucking kills me. We eliminated y'all the past two years. He's just so blind. You blind Asian. I, I swear to God, bro. That's why you'll never get another Vince Lum. Fuck the Seahawks too, and fuck your Golden State Warriors. <sighs> that game just pissed me the fuck off for 20 bucks. I get completely angry at things that cost me money. I get completely angry at things that cost me money. 20 bucks down a drain gave up in the eighth inning I was like all right these niggas want to give up nine innings through two when Zach Wheeler is out fuck y'all Slitter here's your money bottom of the eighth we're down nine to two and quite frankly y'all um that was the time when D-Town decided to fucking parade his little fat ass in the fucking game, just meddling, watching the game, just seeing the Phillies do Philly things, all Philly teams doing Philly things, I, I'm paraphrasing his little fucking quote on Twitter, oh, fuck you D-Town, five Lombardis, that's why you'll never win another Vince Lombardi, fuck D-Town, you cursed us, you cursed us man, Oh, I blame you for this loss. I blame you for this loss. You know what else I blame? I blame the Braves for chickening out. For chickening out on 28 to 3 day. We were supposed to have our opening day, but no, they had to go up to the fucking weather gods and beg for mercy. We need some time to mourn for our Falcons. Most of y'all Braves fans are Falcons fans. Some of y'all are Saints fans. Some of y'all are Broncos fans. Some of y'all are Panthers fans. Whoever, Bucks, you name it. You name it. But this only applies to the Falcons fans, the the four furs, the four furs, the people like Slitta who, oh my God, you got to give respect to the elders, you weather gods. I'm just saying. If we had played yesterday, Spencer Strider would have gave would have given up five runs at least. We're talking about twenty eight to three, a day that is so sacred to all of Atlanta. Call it superstition if you want to, but they are cursed. They'll never win a Vince Lombardi. Ever. Ever. <sighs> I 
Slit is gonna look back on these uh, fucking redeeming qualities. The fucking Bulldogs. The fucking Braves. Anybody but the Hawks and the Falcons. Anybody but the Hawks and the Falcons. You know, he he, he cheers for all uh, Georgia teams anyway, so... Yeah, Georgia Tech, Georgia State. Yeah, bandwagon as fuck. I hope he loses this series. I still hope he loses this series. I hope Noel gets humble just like he did the last couple of postseasons and Slitter too. Have you screaming, fuck, where you hiding? Oh, man, I, I enjoyed that playoffs. But Phillies, man, you, you got to fix the, uh, going back to our issues, you got to fix the bullpen. Please. Matt Strom needs to be traded. Matt Strom needs to go. Let's get some other in there. Please. <sighs> Opening day loss. Just, just sickening. And once again, this isn't about the loss. This is about losing the slit of it in bets. It really is. I hate losing to Slitta. I, I really do. <sighs> Till next time, Slitta. Till next time, folks. <sighs> <sighs> Fuck the Braves. How could you lose to a nigga that drinks Smirnoff?